Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. It is that time of the year again, back to school. And here at Lawrence County School District, we've got some wonderful people here and some great kids, and we're so excited to get this year started off. And this is your opportunity to talk to some of the principals and meet them and just to kind of hear some exciting things that are happening in their school. And we're going to start with one of the best of the best. Clifford Garnto, well, West Orange High that. School. How are you, Clifford? I'm doing well. It's, we're looking forward to a, another great school year. This is my 10th year as mm -hmm. principal at West Orange High School, and we've got some great things going on. We've, we've already got our, our cheerleaders, our band members, mm -hmm. and football players, and cross country, and yeah. volleyball. They, they've, they've all kicked off, and softball as well. Our, our school already has about 350 students in it of oh, them yeah. doing summer activities. You know, Clifford, I mean, let me just ask you this here. Growing up here, did you ever think you were going to be a principal? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Uh, you know, I, initially I thought I'd be an accountant. That's, that's what I thought I would go into. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, Lord, the Lord changed my heart, and uh, we decided to go into education and uh, taught math for, for 12 years mm -hmm. and, and uh, co coach wrestling here and football here. And, and then it transitioned into administration. And you know, for you as a leader, you know, there's a certain way that you operate. There's a method to your madness. What makes you such a great leader? Because people think so highly of you, Mr. Garnton. I don't know that I'd call it madness. <laughs> you call it madness. Uh, I try and be very consistent uh, and very logical and very, very methodical about the things that I do, decisions mm -hmm. I make, and I, I try and do what's best for students. That's good. And so what's, what should we expect in this new year? Well, we've got a couple new programs. Mm -hmm. we, we started JROTC in January, Good. and so we brought another instructor on, so we're, we should be in full swing starting this year. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting a computer science program, uh, nice. program pathway for our CTA, mm -hmm. and th those are the two main programs that, you know, that we've started. Right. Kicking off. Kicking off. And we've already filled our, our uh, computer science courses up. Oh, wow. Uh, so... You know, when we transition to the block schedule, our, our students picked up another elective, so our electives mm -hmm. are, are pretty full. And, you know, you offer so many wonderful things already. A lot of kids, you know, they already have their CNA license by the time they graduate. That's true. Uh, we gave out, I think, 10 CNA certificates mm -hmm. last year, or mm -hmm. Oconee Fall Line did. Right. And those students were able to, to join in the work-based program and go ahead and start working. It, you, you know, if they weren't seniors, mm -hmm. you know, if they've come back this year. And we, we'll have probably 150 students in dual enrollment this year, yeah, which, about that. That's which is it's increasing every year. And you know what's fantastic is <clears throat> the skills that they learn, and it puts them ahead of the power curve by the time they go to college. That's right. And we graduated six students with associate's mm -hmm. degrees last year when they graduated from uh, high school. That's wonderful. And, and probably one of the other big ac accomplishments last year, we had about 16 students who had signed up for the military who had... Wow who had already committed, you know, when, when graduation came around. Mm -hmm. And, you know, of course, with the Lawrence County School District, our motto is growing great leaders, and you're doing just that. Well, I appreciate that. that. And uh, one of the, I guess, one of the most, the, the proudest things mm -hmm. that I have, you know, uh, the, that I've enjoyed seeing is, a, is the teachers, who, teachers and leaders who've come out from under West Lawrence High School leadership and have gone on to to other schools to lead absolutely you know you can look behind that camera and see old Kevin here old Kevin. <laughs> and you know um, mr. Garnto the things that you all do in this school the the kids that you're training to be our future leaders is something that we're all so as a community are so proud of yeah and I guess you know those who don't have students in the in the schools don't mm -hmm. they don't understand the the value of skills USA FFA the band program, mm -hmm. our athletic programs who are, who are helping build those leaders for our community. Absolutely. We've got students that have gone to nationals. Oh, yeah. We have. <laughs> Kenny Martin was the uh, runner-up, mm -hmm. national runner-up for prepared speech. Look at that. And so we've had some great accomplishments. Skills USA, FFA, all doing great things. Nationals. That's right. a big word. And we've got artists here that are going to nationals where their, their artistry is in the, con in the Congress. Right. Uh, Coach Carson has done a phenomenal job mm -hmm. with our art program. Uh, won many awards on the recent level, but also on the state and national level this past year. That's right. And of course, you're, you know, you lost uh, Randy Gay. Randy Gay is now the CTAE director for our district. That's right. Uh, Mr. Gay has been promoted, and Megan Resford is one of our new assistant principals, and Tim Allen is a new assistant principal as well. He, he started in the spring last mm -hmm. year as Miss Kemp moved on to be the 
the principal of the sixth grade academy. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Mr. Garnto. Thank you for all that you do, how you pour into these kids each and every day. Thank you. Clifford Garnto, ladies and gentlemen, principal here at West Lawrence High School. All right, we've got now Mr. Jeffrey J.T. Dean with us, the principal of Northwest Lawrence Elementary. How are you? I'm great. How are you? Doing well, and congratulations. I know Thank you started you. in November. Yes, it's <laughs> been a wild ride since November. Tell us about how that experience has been for you. Well, uh, it wasn't just starting the job. We actually had our second kid the, in, over Thanksgiving break. So I had one week on the job at Northwest Lawrence as a principal, mm -hmm. and then we had our second little girl, Ruthie. And so ever since November, it's just been a wild ride of trying to raise two kids and also take on the role as a principal at a, at a new school. So it's been really exciting. Um, the move from Southwest as an AP to Northwest as a principal has just been amazing. Both schools are amazing, but Northwest, we're so blessed to have such a great staff, great community, right. great kids. And so when I got there in the middle of the year, I really had to give, a, give praise to the staff. They just accepted me, took me in. Uh, made the transition really easy mm -hmm. and so we finished the year on a great note um, on milestones we saw increases in almost mm -hmm. every subject every grade level we're one of the highest achieving elementaries in the Risa, and we're very very proud of that we're going to build on that this year mm -hmm. um, and continue focusing on our literacy our reading right. uh, math we knocked out of the park last year our math scores were great but we know we can continue to get better so we're going to target those areas where we need to work on mm -hmm. um, continue to look for creative ways to encourage our students to enjoy math and enjoy reading um, and we're just really excited for the new year. We are too you know and you've got such a great staff because and they're so creative you all come with come up with so many different things like with the the book parade that was so exciting mm -hmm. to get the kids to you know to really grasp that concept of reading and how fundamental it is and then to show it visually it was pretty fantastic. That was my first <laughs> every I had a year of first so that was my first book parade and it has been a tradition at Northwest and to see the community, we moved to the track so we would have more room because yeah. they, they did it in the parking lot, but the, almost the entire round of the track, we had community members, parents, family lined up. Lined up. And so the kids just, they, they really enjoy it. They get to pick a character from their favorite book mm -hmm. or story and the, the parents have a good time and it just really sets a tone for that reading can be fun. And it's, it's not, it, we don't want it to be, be work. We want to start them young yeah. and, and teach them that if you, if you learn the skills of reading, you, you have a, a lifetime of joy ahead of you. I'm a testament of that. You know, I, I like to tell people that I won my fourth grade spelling bee at Northwest Lawrence. I was go. a school champion. Hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, when you talk about that, you know, how you're making learning fun and you're being creative. Now, have you always been creative yourself? I feel like I have. Um, when I was in school, I, I was not real good at sitting in the desk and, you know, listening for 30 minutes and mm -hmm. doing worksheets. So those kind of classes I struggled in. I needed to be up and moving, hands-on, mm -hmm. uh, being challenged. Right. And so that's something I really am, am, am pushing on the teachers. And, and they already do it. Like yeah. I don't have to tell them because they're already such a great staff. They're doing mm -hmm. it. So really, really just looking for more creative ways to get the that next level out of our Absolutely. students. We have so many high achievers that we're, we're looking to push them into that next level. So Absolutely. we're excited about that. And school's about to start, JT. Yes, ma'am. You're about to go into your first full year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm excited. What should, the, what should the parents expect? What should the students expect this year? Um, I think we're going to have a great year. We've got three new teachers that are new mm -hmm. to, the, to the system. Okay. Uh, we have Miss Catherine New. She actually just finished her master's in music in Texas. Wow. And so she's coming to take over our music teacher position. We have Miss Christina Crawford, who's joining us from mm -hmm. Dublin City. She's going to be joining the kindergarten department. And we have Miss Lynn Long as our new assistant principal. Yes. Um, the board last year approved us to have a second assistant principal. Mm -hmm. So we hired Miss Long. She's coming from Effingham Middle. Mm -hmm. And she's already come on board. Just been a huge asset this summer. Right. And we're really excited about those three new members of the staff. We have three members that are, that are within the Lawrence County community that are taking new roles. So. Mm -hmm. um, Eric Mims, who was a paraprofessional at Northwest, is now going to be our, our computer science teacher. Oh, so we're really excited about that. It'll be mm -hmm. the first time we have a computer science course mm -hmm. at Northwest. And then Miss Leslie Gibbs, who was a pre-K para, is now going to be a pre-K teacher. And so she's excited. So, so seeing those people, those local people get to stay and yeah. further their career, we're really excited about that. That is wonderful. And of course, we noticed that your, um, your driveway is getting a little facelift. Yes, uh, <laughs> we are starting, uh, hopefully, 
it's one of those things that you're not going to know how it works out until we start the first day. But we, we're changing up our, our front car rider pickup, hopefully make it safer mm -hmm. and make it quicker. Because in the afternoons, um, mo moving all those kids through one doorway, it, it was running long. We, we, we had kids still in the building at 345, 350. Mm -hmm. And so by opening up that driveway, we can pick up kids on the gym side. We're gonna, we're gonna hopefully increase the safety. We don't have as many parents trying to cross traffic in the right. front. We had mm -hmm. parents crossing traffic coming into the gym, mm -hmm. which was not a very safe thing, and hopefully be able to load more kids faster. Right. Hopefully have the parents out, they're not in line as long, and you know, they can get their kid quicker, and that we can you know, move the kids out of the building faster in the afternoon. Wonderful, well we thank you so much, Mr. Dean, for all that you do to, for these kids, and how you have fun doing it, even in costume. That's right. I, <laughs> you always got to look for ways to have fun. You got to keep it fun. Always keep it creative. This is Mr. J.T. Dean, ladies and gentlemen. Thank Principal, you. Northwest Lawrence Elementary. Badcock Home Furniture and More is your home store, where you'll find great savings on new living room sets, sofas, love seats, recliners, and more. Badcock Home Furniture and More has great savings every day on bedding and bedroom sets. Shop Badcock Home Furniture and More for a great selection of dining room sets and save every day on electronics and appliances at Badcock Home Furniture and More, 1927 Highway 441 South in Dublin. Call 275-3144 for more information or stop by and see Wendy and Tim Sumner or any of their friendly staff today at Badcock and More Home Furniture Store, where no credit is ever refused. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express, where you'll always find friendly, courteous service every time you visit us. Fill up with pay at the pump. Take advantage of our bigger and better selection of beverages and tobacco products. Enjoy our popular crushed ice with your favorite fountain drink. And you can always enjoy a fresh, hot breakfast, lunch, or dinner. So stop by and see us today, where it's always convenient and friendly. Neighbors Express, locations at I-16 at 441 and in Cedar Grove, where we provide farm fuel for all our customers. When you want convenience, you want Neighbors Express. Now we've got West Lawrence Middle School in the house. Principal right. Mr. Reed Waldrop, how are you? I'm doing great, Pat. It's Congratulations. Thank you. I think this is our first time talking it is. about this position it of is. yours. It is. It really is. Now listen, Reed. Tell us about your journey. I mean, you know you come from a family of educators, superintendents, so kind of heavy there. Yeah, it is. Education's been <laughs> in my blood ever since I was born. Yeah. Uh, I taught ag at West Lawrence High School for 18 years, FFA mm -hmm. advisor. Had a great program, great students, just mm -hmm. blessed. Thought I'd do it my whole career. Wow. Uh, around year 16, I could tell God was leading me in a different yeah. direction, mm -hmm. so I started looking into administration. Opportunities came open, uh, became assistant principal at West Lawrence mm -hmm. Middle School under Tim Franks, was there two and a half years, served under him and Sherry Mormon as their yeah. assistant principals. Sherry decided to retire uh, last year in November. Mm -hmm. Uh, I was fortunate, blessed to get the job, started December the 1st, and yeah. I'm starting my first year as a principal. I ended my first year last year as a principal, <laughs> but I'm starting my first time, first school year as a principal, and super excited. This is so exciting, and you it know, is. because knowing your family, hmm? what did your mama say? <laughs> uh, mom gave me more personal advice, you know, don't, don't let the job overwhelm or overtake the family, yeah. and, and it's easy to do, it's easy to let that happen, mm -hmm. uh, you know. She gave me a lot of the, the family background advice because yeah. she was a teacher. She taught right. for 30 years. And Dad gave me a lot of good advice, too. I know he's proud that I'm following his footsteps. Mm -hmm. uh, he was a great administrator, one of the best ever, in my yeah, opinion. Absolutely. I was fortunate to, mm -hmm. to watch him growing up. And a lot of the things I handle day to day in the classroom, as assistant principal, now as a principal, right. it's like I can hear my mom and dad's voice. Wow. And, and, and that's a great thing. That's to a have. legacy. It like is that, a legacy. That generation of just a wealth of knowledge mm -hmm. is instilled yeah. within you. Yeah, so it's 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 what I was born to do is be in education. I fought it for a long time, yeah. but you know here I am, and I love it. Had a great to career. Much is given. Uh, much yeah, is I guess. Required. I guess. And you know, Reed, you're very <clears throat> even keeled. I mean, you really assess the situation and you just handle business. Now, have you always been that way, and have you had to make some adjustments now oh, yeah. as the principal? I'm not as even keel on the inside as I appear on the outside. I'm pretty, I'm pretty hyper all the time on right. the inside. Um, I worked under Clifford Garnto. 
his first years as principal, and, and he truly is my mentor. Yeah. Uh, he's so even keel. He's the calm of the storm. Yes. You know, when everything is, seems to be falling apart around him, mm -hmm. Mr. Garanto can walk in, and it seems like the building calms. Yeah. And that's what I, I strive to do at West Lawrence. Mm -hmm. I try at uh, West Lawrence Middle. I, I strive to be the common yeah. face in the building. And uh, so watching Clifford, I try to keep my internal mm -hmm. on the internal mm -hmm. and keep a calm face on the outside. You're doing a great job. Well, thank you. Tell us about some of the exciting things that have happened this past year and what we're to look forward to this coming year. A lot of great things are going on at West Lawrence Middle. Uh, we're still in the process of, of making the campus look better. Mm -hmm. uh, it's an old campus, one of the mm -hmm. older in the system. Right. <clears throat> but uh, just because you're old don't mean you can't be clean and look That's good. Right. So, uh, That's right. Uh, New gym mm -hmm. floor, new gym paint job, the athletic facilities were painted last year, so mm -hmm. the outside appearance is getting much better. Uh, with sixth grade academy coming in, mm -hmm. uh, we've opened up a lot of space, so our, our, our connections labs are yeah. bigger now, more mm -hmm. space. Our lunch room, if you've ever been in our lunch room during lunch prior to this year, we would serve about 350 a lunch, and that lunch room should hold 200 max. Mm -hmm. So now with sixth grade academy moving out, lunch is going to be a lot more enjoyable for our yeah. students, more relaxed. Mm -hmm. uh, so that social aspect that's right. so important in middle school, that lunchroom is now set up to provide that social aspect. So a lot, lot of great things. A lot of great things. Well, we're certainly excited about what this year holds for you, you know, and we know you've got big shoes to fill, but you're yeah. filling them quite well, thank nicely. You. I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> Anything else you want to add for that? Uh, just, just excited about here. We have a fantastic staff. I was fortunate that Almost my entire staff is returning this year, so as a, as a new principal, that's a huge, huge thing, not to have to worry about staffing. And mm -hmm. we are bringing three, I hope I don't miss, mess this up, I know we're bringing three new people in. Mr. Charles Moore is coming in to teach science in eighth grade. Mm -hmm. uh, Miss Onelia Kennedy is coming in as a math teacher in eighth grade. Uh, we're bringing in Miss Melissa Bentley in our course program, mm -hmm. which we're very fortunate to have. We thought our course program was going to close because we couldn't find an applicant, right, right. but but Lord provided, it's and and she's coming in excited to work with our course and mm -hmm. and students, and we're going to partner with the high school and hopefully do a spring musical. So oh my a lot of great things going. That's going to be so awesome. We're we're certainly excited about what West Lawrence Middle School has in the horizon. We're proud of the work that you're doing. The staff, you've got a, a great staff. The students are pretty awesome themselves oh, yeah, and we're so we're so glad that you offer so many different things for them to help them transition mm -hmm. to that high school right. level so that met, especially with the band right oh yeah band strong Raider <laughs> brigade i mean it's very strong being a high school teacher so long helped me understand what a middle school student needs to transition into the high school and this current seventh grade class next year as eighth graders mm -hmm. are actually going to be able to receive two high school credits for the first time in our building. Wow. So with the, with the push for dual enrollment and a lot of things mm -hmm. that uh, you'll hear Mr. Garnto talk about in his interview that, that kids are you know, dual enrolled, the, 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 the associate's degree before mm -hmm. they graduate, the military. Now that we're able to advance them in eighth grade, mm -hmm. they're on stage to, to really advance in high school. So I'm really proud of that. And that's how it works because you start off, you're planting seeds everywhere mm -hmm. you go. And this is all part of the plan right, right here. It is. So keep doing great things. Thank you, Pat. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Mr. Reed Waldrop, West Arts Middle School Principal. Thank you. Extraordinaire. All right, we've got Ms. Dewana Kemp, who is the new sixth grade academy principal. Congratulations. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> this is so exciting to have the sixth grade academy and be afforded the opportunity and the space to be able to do that is wonderful. Now, Dewana, you've got to kind of remind them okay. about your journey here with Lawrence County Schools. Uh, this is, it's been 24 years. Wow. Um, I started here in 1996 mm -hmm. um, as a special ed teacher teaching emotional and behavior disorder students. Um, and then from there, I became the CTI coordinator. I also worked with special needs students, transitioning them from school to work. Mm -hmm. And then I um, took the assistant principal job. So I've been at West oh. Lawrence High School for 24 years. The whole time. The entire time. But where did you graduate from? East Lawrence High School. <laughs> oh, it's this is so awesome and you know and for you the experience that you have had with working with students and the different roles that you've played this transition now as principal to the academy mm -hmm. what are your thoughts right now what are you feeling I mean, everything I've done up until now has really prepared me mm -hmm. for for the position I'm about to yeah. embark upon and I'm so excited <laughs> I am so excited. We're so excited for you too. And this is going to be great. Now the kids are getting ready to go off to college. Yes. <laughs> you know, uh -huh. 
now with this position and the exciting ideas and the things that you're bringing to the table is going to be fantastic. So tell us about some things that you've got planned that you're preparing here at the 6th grade academy. Well at the 6th grade academy we are not afraid to think out of the box right. um, and for my very first meeting with them we talked about being innovative mm -hmm. um, and so I've been trying to encourage them and inspire them and I, I actually told them you know if y'all are afraid I'll help push you yeah. out of the ship so um, and everybody's on board uh, my board of education has really been mm -hmm. supporting the 6th grade academy and we've been able to purchase some things that are a little different um, and we're so excited about that we have the, the school looking good, is yeah. getting ready for those sixth graders to come in. Mm -hmm. um, we are, our, student, our teachers are getting ready um, academically. Yes. Um, and we're, we're going to push them harder than they've ever been pushed before. Wow. Um, we're going to make sure that they're prepared to be seventh graders when they go up to West Lawrence Middle School. And you know, I don't think the kids even know how fortunate they are to be sixth graders to have their own little space. Yes. Yes. to have their own little space and I think that you've got a great staff to where you're definitely going to encourage them in more ways than they can even imagine to help them transition. Mm -hmm. We are uh, starting a collaborative model. All of our math teachers will collaborate and plan together. Oh, all of our, you know, every subject content that way we're doing the same thing in all of the classrooms. Our um, older teachers can have veteran teachers can help our mm -hmm. new teachers. So we're just excited about what we have going on. I love the consistency that we're going to be seeing with these students. And if you've never, you know, of course you'll see it at open house, mm -hmm. but to see the hallways and see the artistry, the people that you've brought in to bring life yes, to the yes, owl. Yes, yes. The, the, the owl is looking like a different place. It is starting to look like the sixth grade academy. It is. And that's what we wanted. We didn't want it to be the owl. We wanted it to be a unique place for our sixth graders to come and, and they can mm -hmm. say that this is home. Yeah. And um, one of our teachers uh, started a slogan that says, Pioneers Charting New Territory. And so we're, we're, we're excited to be doing that. Well, you all are definitely pioneers, but you are definitely, you know, you're not uh, new to the game. That's right. That's and right. And so what's wonderful, you got a great staff. Tell us about some of them. Oh, things. man, well, I have an awesome staff. <laughs> uh, when I say phenomenal and have just jumped on board. Mm -hmm. They weren't upset about having to move yet again. Yes. Um, and they just have some great things in store. We went to some conferences this summer, mm -hmm. so we, we've got some planning going on, but they are, they are awesome. In, in all subject contents. Oh my God. Yes. Well, we're excited. We're gonna feel like we're sixth graders ourselves. That's right. We're so proud to have you in that position because you have you have given so much to Lawrence County Schools. You've given so much of yourself uh, to the students. You come from a great, great family. McKinley Kemp, you know, he. He's one of those pioneers he here is, in Lawrence County, is. and your kids have done great things. And so we're excited about what the future holds for you, Mrs. Soon-to-be Dr. Kemp. Well, thank you. And for what it holds for the Sixth Grade Academy. Yes, yes, we're, we're excited, and we're waiting for all of y'all. Please come out, open house, and uh, see the place. Even if you don't have a sixth grader, you're welcome to come and kind of look around and get a feel for what we're about to do in 2019, 2020. And when you see the furniture and the little desk, you're gonna wanna be a sixth grader. Yes, that's right. <laughs> one, of my, one of my parents told me, uh, she said that her son, who's not very excited about school after open house came back and said mom let's just skip summer and go straight to sixth grade oh wow that made me feel awesome wow so, and they're going to be in for a treat thank you so be. much dewana all right thank you, you keep doing great things ladies and gentlemen this is the sixth grade academy principal mrs dewana kemp is your internet slowing your business down if so call the city of dublin for our fiber optic based internet 478-296-1008 Hi, I'm uh, Dr. Dustin Gay. I'm a local orthopedic surgeon with Houston Clinic Orthopedics, and we'd really like to invite everybody to come out to our new uh, office facility to take a look at it. It's a larger space with physical therapy, and uh, we're just excited to have it, and we'd love for people to come out and visit us. Come by and see us today at our brand new location, the Houston Clinic Medical Drive in Dublin. You know, this has been such a great day having the opportunity uh, for you to meet uh, the principals here in the Lawrence County School District and just to kind of hear what's going on in their neck of the woods. We've got Southwest Lawrence Elementary Principal with us, Dr. Lee Collins. How's it going, sir? It's going really good. I'm glad to be here. <laughs> We're glad to have you here. Of course, you went through your first year. Yes. How was that for you, Dr. It Collins? It was an amazing year. Um, and the greatest thing is that I think we're poised for even a greater year. Mm -hmm. uh, we got our, we got our test scores back. We've we've gone up 10 points in English and math, 17 points in social studies. 
Uh, and I think we're poised to really have even a, a greater year. And you know, when you talk about scores like that, that means you've got a great team mm -hmm. working together for the betterment of these kids. Yes, and it's almost, um, I, I don't know the word, it's, uh, it's unusual mm -hmm. to have a, a kindergarten a group of teachers that have 24 years of experience on average. But so, and, and, and when you have that situation, like mm -hmm. what your job is is to give them the supports they need mm -hmm. and get out of the way, be visible, accessible, <laughs> and kind, and, and help them in any way you can. And you've got so many great employees who, and the great, uh, the longe longevity and the, that experience that mm -hmm. they're bringing and their, their take on things and how you're making it a great team. Yes. And now you, you know, you come in guns blazing. I mean, you had a, I saw you with a cape on. I saw you looking like, I don't know what you, you wear costumes, you uh, do everything. Uh, 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 this, <laughs> I've spent this whole summer collecting wigs and hats and sunglasses right. to wear during, at the car rider line. So it, we have fun. Now, and for you as an educator, mm -hmm. and to transition into the administration as you have, how was that transition from you? Well, you? I'm gonna, it was um, more than I deserve and more than anything I could ever earn. It's the staff at that school mm -hmm. that, that embraced me and yeah. allowed me to become a part of them. And you're so out of the box. Have you heard that before? I've heard that. <laughs> I've heard that more than once, I have. But you know, that's good to have that type of creativity, that level of energy that you have. I mean, it's so required when you see kids mm -hmm. walking down that hall. You become a kid yourself in a way. Well, I've been in a high school for 10 years previous to this position. And so I, I don't think I hugged anybody for 10 years. Like, <laughs> and so now that, that becomes a part of the job description. Right, right, right. Yeah. And you know, you guys have a farm. You've got to tell them about this amazing farm you have. So when, we, when, I, when I got there, uh, there was a barn on the campus and it was, uh, it was fading away. The community mm -hmm. come together, rents, um, pastors from different churches, yeah. but they painted my barn, they provided me with animals, we fixed the fence. So I, like right now I think I have about 40 animals. Oh, We've got wow. about 20 goats, 10 or 11 chickens, two pigs, a horse, a donkey, two, oh. and one cow that we've raised from the day it was born. Mm -hmm. it, we bottle fed it since the day his mother wouldn't feed it, so we do. Oh wow, mm -hmm. and you incorporate all of that, that hands-on kinesthetic yes. learning for these kids. At each level. So we've got a kindergarten teacher. Miss Beasley brought some students out in kindergarten mm -hmm. that couldn't speak English, but it was a real life experience. They could see a gate and a chicken and a, mm -hmm. and a bucket and mm -hmm. a, all of these things that they were learning in class. But then the, the fifth grade teacher ran with it and had his children design, math teacher Matt Taylor, mm -hmm. had his kids design a chicken coop. Oh, wow. that they built and put together that's in the barn. Look now. how amazing that is. Well, and Belinda Rosier raised chickens. <laughs> Look, she raised chickens in her classroom that are now in the barn that are having chickens. Look like so. That. So I guess I'm a grandfather, so to you speak. You are a grandfather. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and all the things that you all are doing, the creative ideas that you have, that you make learning fun. Every time I go into the building, not mm -hmm. only does it look beautiful, but the energy is so good. There is a level of excitement. <laughs> it's almost, a, you can almost hear a buzz. Yeah. Yeah. So what should we expect this year? What should those parents and those uh, students expect from Southwest Lawrence Elementary this upcoming year? Well, I think we're, we're going to be able to refine some things, some mm -hmm. things that we just began to we started last year, yeah. we'll be, begin to refine it. Uh, we are revamping our, our media center. We've mm -hmm. expanded it about 1,800 square feet. Nice. Uh, so we've added books, we've added a library, a Dewey Decimal System library. We've, uh, we're gonna create a, what, like a bookstore, Barnes and Noble for mm -hmm. K through two. Mm -hmm. We're trying to create the Starbucks feel for three through five. Minus the we're, coffee. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, minus the coffee. But I'm talking about the furniture, the I decor. Love it. I love it. And, yeah. and we're gonna have a K th or a pre-K area and a professional development area yeah. and a parent resource center and a maker space like it's, it's that's exciting it is crazy <laughs> it's so crazy yes. you know one of those the ones that you know are used to what a library mm -hmm. look like I mean you're giving it such a great feel mm -hmm. and it's a different level of, of learning and, and, and uh, engagement for mm -hmm. the kids so we have to think that yeah. way well and it's the same thing it is a library in every yeah. sense of the word and it's our focus is literacy but what it does it's it's uh, a library plus one plus and so it's it's a place not only where they can read and check out books but it's also a place where they can make projects and become engaged oh. and do research and it, it's we're really excited about this it. This is so exciting cannot wait for you guys to come out and see Southwest Lawrence Elementary meet Dr. Lee Collins yes. on August the 2nd from 2 to 6 p.m. Thank you so thank much you. Dr. Collins we're so uh, proud to have you on board with Lawrence County and we're thankful for the ideas and the fun that you bring well, and wisdom that you bring to this program. Well thank you and I'm glad
glad to be here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. Lee Collins, Southwest Lawrence Elementary Principal. You know, we've got some great leaders here in Lawrence County. We've got Torrance Pittman, who's now the supervisor of Crossroads. Congratulations, thank Mr. You, Pittman. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Now, listen, share with the people out there a little bit about you, a little bit of your background, and as you transition into this new position of yours. Actually, uh, I started in Lawrence County 14 years ago mm -hmm. at East Lawrence yeah. uh, Middle School. Well, once I was a teacher at the middle school in a self-contained classroom, mm -hmm. then I moved to a collaborative teacher for mm -hmm. seven years. Then I moved up to East Lawrence High School right. for four years. After those four years, I moved to the alternative school for two years. Wow. So that's what. So I've been at the county school my whole life. So you've been here, there, everywhere, yes. learning your craft, getting better at it. And now, you know, share with us about the about Crossroads. Now you have your own building. Yes, yes, <laughs> the old yes. Lawrence High School. Yes. For, for those of you out there. Yes, most people call it the Emily Curry Building. Mm -hmm. So uh, the old name was, was it the Rock, and we're gonna bring that back. Oh wow, <laughs> the Diamond. It was yeah. was the Diamond Academy it, at one point. Yes, it was. And now uh, here you are. Yes. So share with us a little about, about uh, the Crossroads and what we should expect. Uh, I know you've got the new facility and they're doing a beautiful job at getting that ready for you guys. Yes, yes. McKinley and uh, Greg Paul, all them, the uh, maintenance crew, they're doing a great job getting mm -hmm. us ready, situated. Uh, we should be, we'll be up and running the first day of school. Mm -hmm. We have a whole building by ourselves out there and we're going to be ready to rock and roll. Wow. And you know, with kids, you know, it's like we want to make sure that we're taking care of all of our kids. Yeah. And, and Crossroads, share with them a little bit about, um, you know, the type of students you'll have. Will you have a big class load this time? Uh, normally, our, our class size fluctuates mm -hmm. just depending on the year and right. what's going on. We take kids from the county schools from 6th to uh, 12th grade, mm -hmm. and the kids that may need just some type of alternative education. Right. A lot of people know you as Coach Pittman. Yes. <laughs> and you know, and I know that you've been dealing with so many different kids for many, many years. What is your, um, what is your leadership skill and your philosophy? My goal is to treat every kid like it's my own child. And I have 11 year old daughter mm -hmm. who, who's in the county system. Yes. So when I see somebody else's kid, I see my own child with them. So mm -hmm. my, my goal is to make sure that child understands that I want the best for that child, and I mm -hmm. want every parent to understand, I want the best for your child. Mm -hmm. yeah, yes, your child may be in an alternative setting, but that doesn't mean that I can't treat your child like my child need to be treated also. Absolutely, and I think that's important that parents need to hear yes. that, they to give that reassurance yes. about their kids, because I think that we all want our kids to have yes. the best of the best. And, and you know, sometimes we do fall on some different areas where we need that extra push. Yes, yes. And we're so thankful to have you there yes. for that extra push. Yes, and then we're gonna have a great staff out there. I have, I have four lovely ladies out there that's mm -hmm. gonna help me, help me do this whole work. They're probably gonna be telling me what to do most <laughs> of the time. Who do you have out there with uh, you? We have uh, Jack and Nelson, mm -hmm. uh, LaChana Turner, we have Natasha Billups, and we have Miss Sally, who is our lunchroom lady. So Wonderful. Yeah. Well, we're, you know, they come with a great wealth of, of knowledge for many, many yes. years here. So we're glad to have you in this position. Yes doing great things. Uh, we know that uh, Crossroads is going to be a place where kids can actually, you know, kind of grow and help self-evaluate themselves, yes, you know, yes. to get to that place where we want them to be to have a positive future. Yes. So thank you so much, thank Mr. You. Pittman. Thank you, ma'am. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is Torrance Pittman, the supervisor for Crossroads. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jeff Cannon, President of Citizens Bank of Lawrence County. If you're presently a customer of ours, we'd like to take this opportunity to thank you for allowing us to be your bank. We appreciate the confidence you have placed in us and enjoy providing you with the most up-to-date banking products and services to satisfy your needs. If you're not a current customer, we would like to invite you to stop by and let us show you true community banking at its best. We concentrate on our local community, doing our part to make Dublin and Lawrence County a better place to live, work, play, and retire. We recently introduced two new products, eStatements and Access Now, our mobile banking app. Both of these products will help to make banking with us more convenient and will also help to provide you with a safer and more secure banking experience. So for all your banking needs, just give us a call or stop by and let us show you personal banking at its best. Citizens Bank of Lawrence County, member FDIC and an equal housing lender. Hi, I'm Tracy Middlebrooks. I'm with Muddy Paws Dublin. We are a boarding, grooming, daycare and training facility. 
Our facility is a group play area. Our dogs get six to eight hours playtime every day. So when your dog comes to stay with us, they're not just sitting in a kennel. We have indoor facilities as well as outdoor facilities. We do separate dogs according to size and temperament. All of our kennels are indoors. So when your dog stays with us, they are sleeping indoors in a climate controlled environment. When it's too hot or too cold outside, this is one of the areas the dogs can come to get playtime. That way they're not just sitting in a kennel. Uh, if need be, we can rotate dogs between outside and inside. So if your dog is only used to the inside and only goes outside to potty, we can accommodate that. Uh, we have a full service grooming salon six days a week. We also offer training. I am a certified professional dog trainer. I can do everything from basic obedience up to canine good citizens tests. So if you have any questions, feel free to call. Um, most of the training is done here on site. We have boarding also as well as daycare. Boarding starts at 27 a night. Uh, we do give a multiple dog discount as well as military discounts. We like to say that a tired dog is a happy dog. When your dog comes to stay with us, we look at that as them getting a vacation. You know, I tell you, you know, when we talk about Lawrence County Schools, um, we've got so many great leaders for East Lawrence and West Lawrence, and just to have the opportunity for you all to see them and let them share with you about their school is really outstanding. We've got Dr. Jamie Lawhorn with us here, East Lawrence Middle School. How are you, Doc? Doing great. How are you doing? Ms. Doing Bob? very well. Now, you've had a journey here for about 20 years in education, mm -hmm. correct? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I've been in education for 20 years. I, I taught for about 13 or 14 years. Uh, between West Lawrence High School and actually at an alternative school or an alternative Department of Juvenile Justice School for a little while. Mm -hmm. And then I moved to East Lawrence in 2014 and was the assistant at East Lawrence Middle School for a while, at East Lawrence High School for a while, and, mm -hmm. and then I was the principal at East Lawrence Primary, and this is my third year as the principal here at East Lawrence Middle School. And you're doing a wonderful job, Dr. Lawhorn. Well, I appreciate it. I'm, I'm, I hope everyone agrees. <laughs> and you know, for you, you know, your military background. Yes, As a military officer, you know that you're trained a certain way. You know, that warrior ethos, and here you are, you coming into the education realm, and now in administration. What do you bring from your military background into your leadership sky, style? Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> uh, I've been in the military for uh, about, this is my 20th year, mm -hmm. um, and I, I, I do logistics for the military, and and, uh, uh, and planning, and so that's, that's as an officer in the military, that's a, there's a lot of that that we have to do um, to get ready to do different things, different missions, mm -hmm. and it's the same way with, with the school year. I mean, school year is just a mission. I mean, getting, getting ready to start school, is, is, that's kind of the mission, and, and we have to uh, kind of stay on track, and there's different, you know, uh, things we have to do to get ready, and that's, right. what, that's what we're doing. Yep. Absolutely. And for you as a logistician, you know, you're kind of like this here. How have you had to soften up a little bit to be around middle schoolers? Well, <laughs> the primary helped me out a lot in softening nice. up. So right, I was right. down there and those kids, you know, hugging all over you. So they, they'll help you soften up a little bit, I Absolutely. guess. So, but yeah, what, we're, we're, we're excited about the, about the school year and I'll try mm -hmm. to be as, uh, as soft as I can all as year long. As soft as you can. And so what can we expect from East Lawrence Middle School this year? Because you had a great year last year. Uh, Test scores were awesome. Great, great uh, people working with it with you. What can we expect this year? We got a couple changes this year uh, mm -hmm. at, at the middle school. We have uh, we had we, one of our assistant principals. Uh, she left to go to, to West Lawrence High, so uh, Mr. Garnto is going to get her next year, and she did mm -hmm. a great job for us. And we we hate to lose her, but we we picked up Miss Purser, Miss mm -hmm. Brandy Purser. She's um she's from the area. She actually lives at Ben Hall Lake. Um, she's going to be our new assistant principal, so we're excited about that for this year. Mm -hmm. um, we also got a couple of new teachers, Miss Marshalline Watkins, who's from uh, East, East Dublin community. She's coming back this year, and she's going to be a, uh, our ag teacher. And we have Miss Rachel Turner who's going to teach math for us this year. So we got a couple of new faces. Wonderful. Um, really excited about what we did last year, and just want to continue to improve and build on that. Wonderful. It's always a pleasure speaking with you, Dr. Lawhorn, and and just hearing the great things that are happening at East Lawrence Middle School. Yes, ma'am. Keep doing what you do, sir. Thank you. All right. All right. Dr. Jamie Lawhorn, ladies and gentlemen. All right. All right, we've got Dr. Otha Hall with us here, the East Lawrence High School principal. Good to see you, Doc. Good to see you. Now, listen, you and I have done this many times. We have. And, you know, you've been with us for quite a while. 
You've been doing some great things. We want to hear about some of those things, if you would. Well, we've been blessed. I'm headed into my fifth year um, on the east side total. I did east middle for one year, east middle high uh, for two years, and then last year was east high only. And now I'm headed into my fourth year at the high school. And, and, and in those four years, we've been able to accomplish some great things. We've mm -hmm. had um, academic gains. Um, we watched our athletic programs continue to improve. And most of all, one of the things I'm most proud of about this returning year is our students will get to come and see a lot of familiar faces. And our community will see um, a lot of familiar uh, faces from everything from our teachers and administrative assistant staff um, to our custodial staff, lunchroom staff. We have over 95 percent retention rate. That's and great. that's something we take pride in. We try to make our place um, exciting. We try to make it fun and we try mm -hmm. to make it positive. And we think that has had a lot to do with um, a retention rate of, of that that magnitude. Absolutely. And of course, you know, every time I come through these doors, you know, Dr. Hall, it's always a pleasure. Yeah. You know, you know, greeted with such kindness from the people that work here. And of course, coming into the office and seeing these students as having a, had children here, you know, to see how things are still moving forward. It's really a pleasure to see. Yes, it's been fun. I think um, I say this any any time I speak, communities make up schools mm -hmm. and we have mm -hmm. great people in our community and we have great parents in our community and they send us their best kids. And so that's that's why you get that feeling when you walk through through the door. We have a staff that love kids, that's mm -hmm. excited about helping kids reach their full potential. And we have a community of parents who push their kids to be the best they can be. And that's what you feel when you walk into the building at East Lawrence High School. Absolutely. You know, Dr. Hall, you known for giving these pep talk, these speeches that are up here with uh, Martin Luther King, you know, but so <laughs> when you come in there, <laughs> you're too kind, <laughs> you know, and so when you give these pep talks, not just to the, the, uh, the staff, but to these students, I mean, it does something to them. And I think as a person on the outside looking in, just hearing you speak to these kids with such love and you have such belief in them. And it's just really nice to hear from you. Now you've always been a motivator. Yes. Because they know you as coach. Hall. Coach Hall, yes. <laughs> I'm a uh, former basketball player at West Lawrence High School and mm -hmm. I coached at, at West Lawrence High yeah. School and so I've had a lot of experience with having the opportunity to be around young people that motivates mm -hmm. me which allows me to turn around and, and motivate them but one yeah. of the things that make it natural is I believe it. Yeah. Um, I truly believe that um, education um, can be the great equalizer. Right. And so we typically try to make sure our students understand that, that no matter mm -hmm. your situation, um, education can be the great equalizer. Absolutely. If you don't have a lot, education yeah. is the great equalizer. Absolutely. If you have a plenty, it's still the great equalizer. And so we just try to focus and make that a priority and keep the main thing the main, the main thing. thing. And now here it is coming into your next year. What can we expect from East Lawrence High School? Well, it's going to be exciting. Um, one of the things we've done in the off season is we try to create um, a great climate and that mm -hmm. was talked about a lot at our district opening meeting Absolutely. on yesterday. So um, the kids going to walk into a very clean building. Mm -hmm. um, we put tons of labor yeah. and money into yeah. uh, fresh paint. Um, in the building, um, it's a lot of work going on at the athletic complex and the mm -hmm. stadium as we prepare to open up um, the football season. Yeah. Um, our counselor's office is now going to be 100% a student success center. We'll have Ms. Brantley, who's been over there. Mm -hmm. We're going to have Ms. Charlotte White, who will be the administrative assistant to the counselor. Mm -hmm. We'll have Ms. Julia Sanders, who we added. Yes. Um, and, and so we'll have Ms. Salvatore over there, who will take care of a lot of the senior dues and finances and things mm -hmm. of that nature. So that entire side of the building is going to be 100% a student yeah. success center, because that's what it's all about. Yeah. And then on the other side of the office, we'll have Ms. Baggett, who will greet everybody like mm -hmm. she's done for several years, way yes. before I got here. Mm -hmm. We have Coach Williams who's been in this community for over 25 years, I mm -hmm. believe. I think he's entering year 31, either 32 in education. And we're super excited about having Mr. Jason Thomas come and yes. join us on the um, administrative team. And that's yes. so exciting because yes. he was able to come join us. But my um, former assistant principal, <laughs> who's phenomenal, who you'll meet in a little while, will be going to the primary as the head principal. And we're super excited for Ms. Janelle Butler in that, wow. that capacity. A lot of great changes, a lot of great things are happening for East Lawrence High School. We're glad to have you at the helm of it, Dr. Hall. I mean, you've been amazing from any time that I've had any act interaction with you professionally as well as with as a parent. You've been doing a wonderful job and everyone on the staff has been doing a great job too and we're so thankful to have you in the system. Well, thank you. I've been blessed. I have a great staff. I have a great community and they send me great kids every And you've year. had an opportunity to have another baby while you've been in. Yes. My, <laughs> and then my wife will be joining me at East Lawrence oh, Primary. Wow. I will have a little girl attending East Lawrence Primary. She'll be starting pre-K. So uh, the first day of school will mean a little, uh, be a little bit different That's for me right. this year. That's right. um, first day of school has always been special to me, yes. but I have a little girl that'll be entering pre-K at East Lawrence Primary. So it'll be 
extra special this extra year. Extra special. Well, thank you. We're so glad your family's going to be joining you here. I am too. For this I'm extra about special that. year that we're looking forward to at East Lawrence High School. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Dr. O.J. Hall. Thank you. to mm. talk. Mm. Are those Toyo tires? Man, I love Toyo tires. I am also loving these tires. Let's get you cleaned up. <laughs> Count on the best. Choose Lakes Alignment, located just off Central Drive at East Dublin. Call 272-4230. All right, we've got Miss Kelly Dean here, the principal of East Lawrence Elementary, and I talk about Kelly, I get excited. She's a ball of energy. Well, thank you. But a wealth of knowledge. There you go. All rolled up into a pretty little bow. Well, I appreciate <laughs> that. Now, Kelly, talk to us a little bit about you. I mean, because you have been in this system for quite some time, and you've been doing a lot of different things that have helped you be the person and the leader that you are today. I have. I feel like I've had an opportunity to see things through several different lenses. Yeah. I've been at the high school and middle school. I've been at the primary. Mm -hmm. I've been at the elementary and the county office. So I've been able to take something from each of those positions and use them now in my position as the principal at East Lawrence Elementary. And honey, I have seen you in a rock band, on a roof. Absolutely. Doing, I mean, in yes. costumes, doing all kinds of things. Now, you being as creative as you are, were you that way as a little girl? I was. <laughs> um, my mom said I always had that dress-up closet. I always right. had the crafts and the things out. But I think elementary school should be some of your best memories. Mm -hmm. And so in order to make that fun for kids, we have to join right in with them. Absolutely. So we want to do the crafts. We want to do the wigs, the costumes, the music, whatever it takes to get them engaged and excited to be there. And what makes you, Kelly, because, you know, as a leader, the way that you operate, I watch you and I marvel. Tell us about your philosophy as a leader and what makes you good at what you do and effective, because I think that's very important. Well, I think I have to set the tone from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. So for my teachers, for my students, for my parents, for the community, I need to set a tone that when you walk in East Lawrence Elementary, not only is it a place that you're going to learn and that you're going to be ready when you leave there, but it's also a place you're going to enjoy, you're going to be engaged, you're going to feel loved and accepted and wanted. And we just want everybody to feel that the minute they walk in the door. I feel it every good, time I walk good. in. And so give us some of the highlights. So what is what was some of the highlights for you for last year with East Lawrence? Well, we really had a push on literacy. Mm -hmm. We feel like if you can read, you can take that and do anything that you want to do. So mm -hmm. our goal is to always take children from the primary school and move them forward so they're ready for the middle school. Yeah. So we did a lot of work on literacy last year. Mm -hmm. We had a lot of growth with that, so we were very excited. Yes. And this year we've got some really fun things in store. We've revamped our media center. So we're going to have that to be a place where the kids can't wait to come. We've got lots of new furniture, new books, new things going on in there. So we're excited for them oh to see God. that. That is going to be so exciting. I was in your school the other day and I was able to spread my wings. Yes. <laughs> One of our front bulletin boards has a huge pair of wings on it. It talks about spreading your wings and fly. Yeah. And so we've got an area for each child to stand in front of that at open house and get their picture taken because we want them to just take off this year and soar and fly. Wow. And you know, you as a leader, I mean, you're so encouraging and you find so many creative ways to be an encouragement to these kids. So tell us about that staff that helps you brainstorm to get ready for things. East Lawrence Elementary really does have a family feel yeah. and we all want to come in and you'll find with elementary teachers they're beaming with ideas whether yeah. it's Pinterest, things they've learned, talking to each other. So whenever we throw something out there we try to all get together and say how can we make it better? Yeah. How can we make it so the kids will enjoy it? And our kids pick up on that. They yes. want to be a part of it and they want to join in with us. Because they see the energy that you have and the level of excitement and the time that you put into uh, making something a success and when they see that it does encourage them to do better and to do more themselves. It does. I said this earlier in the interview, but elementary years should be some years that you look back on and you think of those exciting things you did and the friends you made, the social skills, yes. the activities you did. So I don't want any child to leave with 
anything but wonderful memories from East Lawrence Elementary. I'm telling you, you go to East Lawrence, you're going to have great memories. I know I have memories of having a snow cone. Yeah, <laughs> you did. You did. And you came to our color run. Yes. And lots of those things we've done. And so you've done so many wonderful things. And it definitely is definitely is instilling things within these kids that they'll have with them for a lifetime. And we thank you. We're so proud to have you thank with you. us, Miss Kelly, because you are special. Well, thank you. All I right. enjoy what I do. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Miss Kelly Dean, East Lawrence Elementary Principal. I'm excited about this young lady here to my left. I mean, she was the assistant principal at East Lawrence High School, and now she is the brand new, how many days? Uh, about one and a half. Maybe. One and a half day old East Lawrence primary principal, Miss Janelle Butler. Congratulations to Thank you. Thank you. I am so excited <laughs> to be here. I just can't, I, I can't even put into words. I mean, this is so exciting because you've done such a great job. The team between you, uh, Jimmy Williams, and, and Dr. Hall has been great. Mm -hmm. And now here you are about to start a new adventure. Now let the people know a little bit about you, Miss, Miss Butler, like how you started out and your career in education, and then let's segue to where we are today. Oh, okay. One and a half day um, old. My, my one and a half day old <laughs> principalship. Um, I started 21 years ago. Mm -hmm. I actually started out as an elementary special education teacher in Ohio. That's okay. where I grew up. Um, and then my husband and I moved to Florida. We were mm -hmm. there for 16 years. Um, I worked at the same school the 16 years I was there. Mm -hmm. um, I did several things when I was there. I was a math teacher, a special education teacher, and then eventually I became um, an instructional coach there right, for the right, end right, of right. that. And then um, my husband's family's from here. Um, my in-laws are having some health issues, so mm -hmm. we decided to move here so we could help okay. them. Um, and then I got blessed to come and be an instructional coach at yep. the middle school. Um, and then I got blessed again, and I got to be the principal at the middle and the high school. And then we transitioned, and it was just the high school. Wow. And now I'm here today. Oh, my gosh. So this is wonderful. So you've been around the bend, mm -hmm. and now here you are. You've been around some great people. Um, you've had such an impact on students' lives, and now here you are in this position. And you know, as a leader, mm -hmm. you've got to have a, a you've got to have some type of uh, philosophy mm -hmm. for what and how you do what you do as a leader. What would yours be? Um, I believe first and foremost, a leader is a servant. We have to get everyone together. The collaboration is key. I say all the time, you know, there's that old saying that mm -hmm. it takes a village to raise a child. Yeah. It is never more true when you're talking about education. If yeah. we are not all working together and all on that same team, mm -hmm. then we're not going to go where we need to head in that right direction. So I'm here to serve the students, the community, and especially the teachers at my school. Wonderful. And of course, you've got a great team with you already. I do. <laughs> I do. My team is fabulous. Mm -hmm. I walked in the first day. There were balloons on my door. Oh, wow. I had a binder with everything. <laughs> Ms. Brigman is fabulous. Yes. I am just, just through the moon. Like, it is just wonderful to be I'm working with her. And you know, East Lawrence Primary is blessed to have you there. We're thankful for the great work that Jason Thomas has done. And now here you are taking over, taking over the helm and getting ready to uh, do some wonderful things. I know you've got a, a plethora of ideas <laughs> that you kind of want to throw out there. Um, I have so barely what, slept. I have like so many ideas <laughs> in my head. I'm trying to prioritize and we're going to do some great things. I've worked with Miss Dean before, so I'm mm -hmm. so excited. We're going to rock K-5 together. It's going to be just like the best time. Well, we're certainly to have so blessed to have you in position. Uh, thank you for what you've already done. And we're excited for what is in the future for East Lawrence Primary. I'm, I cannot wait. I'm so excited for the teachers and the students to get there. All right. It's going to be amazing. All right. One day and a half. Principal <laughs> Janelle Butler, East Lawrence Primary.